<laughs> Just as I transfer over, it decides to do that. <laughs> hello, hello, Daicha Hao. <laughs> so today is a special day. It might be the last stream of Kyoto Wins. And then we'll most likely have to work on DLC and then Edo Blossoms. <gasps> Only one way to find out is to go into it. <laughs> so last time, what happened last time? Uh, shoot, what did happen last time? Uh, Saito and Toto went off and did some thingies. They went off with, um, Sir Pretty Boy. <clears throat> and then the other Pretty Boy went away. Uh, Toto was turned into a fury. Yeah, and it turned out that Saito was a spy. And we went to go see him after he was given a new order and Chitty Patootie. So cute. Medicine and Alley. So adorable. <laughs> uh, the uh, Shinsengumi did an assassination uh, for the pretty boy. So he's gone. Yay! But that also means his brother is still around. Most likely. Most likely. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, other than that... I can't remember right off the bat. Yeah, no, I can't remember right off the bat. So, let's continue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> December 1867. As the order to begin Imperial Restoration came, Satsuma and Choshu troops started occupying the city of Kyoto. At the same time, members and affiliates of the Tokugawa Shogunate were being removed from the Imperial Palace, and eventually Kyoto altogether. They, as expected, did not take this lightly. In response, the Shogunate's military forces were beginning to march from Edo to Kyoto. As, tension bleh, as tensions rose from the approaching shogunai armies, the Satsuma and Choshu were preparing their own forces for a hostile confrontation. The situation was growing increasingly frenzied. As the shogunites scrambled to call upon their remaining allies, the Shinsengumi received an order to come to the Fushimi Magistrate. Having all of their men and armaments gathered in, the Fushimi Magistrate enabled the Shogunite to act in the events of an emergency. So off we went. On one such day, during the commotion. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bad news was... Bleh. Bad news was delivered to the Fushimi Magistrate. There had been no witnesses, and the culprit escaped unseen. Their motives could only be guessed. Oh, dang. I wonder who, who they're talking about. <laughs> Nagakura got a crew of warriors together and they all headed towards the location where Kondo was shot. Oh, it was Kondo. <gasps> chief, that Kondo. I thought they were I thought they were talking about like a different chief. No, Kondo, no. No, baby. Not our little chief dumbass. <laughs> Kondo's gunshot wound was on his right shoulder. The bullet pierced clean through him, shattering the bone, which required more treatment than I could have given him at the compounds. I was sweeping up the common room when... Uh, yeah, I'm cleaning up, good sir. Oh, Sanan. Did you have any business here? If you're going to use this room, I'll, I'll leave. Forgot last, last, last stream, he tried to get our blood and uh, attacked us. I totally forgot about that. Um, I, I, I don't want to be in the same room with you, good sir. Um, I, I'm afraid that you are going to uh, pull the same thing as before. No, thank you. <laughs> uh huh. His words perplexed me, so I felt a little anxious. Just then... <gasps> Saito, baby! The most prominent Shinsengumi captains began filling into the common room. 
What were they about to discuss? My anxiety was starting to grow stronger. Yeah, Kuita's uh, most likely in bed trying not to uh, literally cough his lungs out and die. <laughs> he would. Okita would totally do that. Toshi is really a soft heart. Everybody calls him a demon, but he's a softy. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't denying it. Toshi was not denying it. <laughs> I have no idea what he's thinking. Is he going to give them the water of life? The, the serum for the Furies and make all of them Furies? Uh, I hope not. It sounded like it. It sounded like it. In his hands was an object wrapped in a fine cloth that he slowly unwrapped before all of us. As I saw what was inside of his hands, I gasped and clasped my hands over my mouth. I, I was not expecting to be right. I, I said it. I said that he was going to give it to him, uh, give it to them in the sense of he's crazy about it. I did not think he would actually do it. <laughs> um... Uh, please don't give it to my Saito, please. <laughs> okay, he has officially gone crazy. Sanan, you have gone crazy. Yeah, the risks of researching it, not taking it. That does not mean taking it. Saturn! The frick! Saturn has officially gone crazy. I mean, this might help with Okita and his tuberculosis. It might. But I don't know if I want to have him go through all that. That's right. Ugh. Yeah, you go, Shinpachi. Nagakura barked his indig indignation, indignation, yeah, indignation <laughs> to Sanan's proposal, and he stormed off. Why would it be a good luck charm? I, I mean. If they had it in like a pocket on their person in a fight and then had to use it as like a super last resort, maybe? But I hope Sanan doesn't want them to take it now. Yeah. In a way spoke softly as his fingers pinched the vial and held it close to his eyes. <gasps> Saito. Both Saito and Harada grabbed a vial, and they slipped it into their respective pockets. Up until now, Toshi had crossed his arms and silently observed Sanan's speech. 
責任を取らなきゃならねえかまあ確かにその通りだよな Dang They were convinced so quickly <laughs> His eyes looked troubled But he reached for the serum and slipped it into his pocket as well Courtesy? I don't know if it's courtesy. After Sanan had finished, the captains all bowed and left the room. And Sanan turned towards me. Aware of what? The fact that you still want my blood? We have been living with them for four years, keeping huge, gigantic secrets. Why the frick would we now spill this secret, Sanan? Like, come on. <laughs> Timidly, I nodded my head, and Sanan waited for a second before nodding silently and leaving the room. What could I do? The throne created by my father was now in the hands of the captains. I shuddered at the thought of them drinking it. <clears throat> Ever since the attack on Kondo, the atmosphere at the Fushimi Magistrate's office has been tense, to say the least. I felt, in I felt it increase as I stepped into the meeting room, carrying tea for the captains. Uh, here's your tea. I seem to have walked in on a serious discussion. All around the room were tense, drawn faces. Oh man, they're talking about politics and it's just going through one ear and out the other. Or in this case, through one eye and out the other. <laughs>。だろうな。やつら。年若い天使様を勝ち上げて我が物顔で朝廷に出入りしてやがる。で、そいつらとの戦の準備をどうするかだな。no dip he is. A memory of the other day bleh, a memory of the other day came back to me. Sanan offered the water of life to all of the captains, and they accepted it. Yeah, that wouldn't be too good. Sendyukniwanaru Toshi feared his brow and frowned. とりあえずもう少し考えさせてくれ。敵の出方を見なきゃ何とも言えねえし、爆風側の意向もあるから。Kondo's injury had put everyone on edge, especially with the war inching closer, day by day. What was going to become of the Shinsengumi, as well as the Fury Corps? Who knows, we'll find out. <clears throat> December 20th, 1867. Dang, we're getting into specific days now! <sighs> Ooh. It was decided that Kondo and Okita were to be moved to Osaka, where Dr. Matsumoto was. Kondo had required serious surgery and treatment, while Okita needed 
Ooh, yeah, needed to treat his tuberculosis. Only a few people had caught on to Okita's condition initially, but when it came time for him to leave, it was as if a dark cloud hovered over all of us. The departure of those two leaders brought solemnly and sadness to us all. So, solemnity? Nah. Yeah, it's fine. Psycho for sore eyes. Wow, such a wonderful achievement. <laughs> January, 1868. Also, I apologize if you hear any clinking or anything. I have uh, some uh, cake <laughs> on the side. <laughs> so I apologize if you hear that every now and again. January 3rd, 1868. I was busying myself in the compound around the time the men began to return from their bleh, from their patrols. Oh, welcome back, guys. さあ、さあ、つまんの連中め。めでて時期だってのに軍勢引いて今日に押しかけてきやがって。おかげで、ゾウにを食う暇すらねえじゃねえか。少しは考えろよな。ゾウに he continued muttering angrily to himself as he pulled off his coat and hung it up. なんかくらくん。外を歩いている時からずっとゾウニの話ばっかりだね。だってさ、正月はやっぱ持ち食って寝るのが醍醐味ってもんだろ。それともも was it out there? さして問題はなかった。for now, Oof. I see. Saito's reassurances allowed me to relax, if only a little. I had no idea what might happen in the days to come, but I thought it would be nice to at least enjoy the New Year's festivities in peace. Oh, Jesus Christ, that spooked me. Oh. I need a moment. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I just let out a small sigh of relief when a noise like a small thunderclap sounded from somewhere outside the compound. Oh shoot, is that is it that one demon again? The earlier good humor evaporated, e evaporated, evaporated, and every face in the room turned towards the source of the sound, tense and serious. Gosh dang it, Saito. You jinxed us. That gunshot was the beginning of what would later become known as the Battle of Toba Fushimi. Ooh. Battle of Toba Fushimi, a battle between Imperial and Shogunite forces that lasted for four days during January of 1868. Oh, skirmishes occurred in Kamitoga, Shimotoba, Takeda and Fushimi in southern Kyoto. For some weird reason, I saw skirmishes and thought it was a Japanese word for a moment, but I was like, wait, there's a K. <laughs> we later learned that the Satsuma had opened fire on Shogunite soldiers attempting to enter Kyoto, but at the same time we heard it, we knew nothing. <laughs> I can, I can. Ah, dang. Saito nodded and Harada ran off. Within moments, the atmosphere in the magistrate's office changed. Um, what should I do? So, Anto. Then it happened. I <laughs> a deafening explosion tore through the air, and the building itself shook. It was no gunshot this time. Uh, that was, um, dynamite, most likely. Saito and Nagakura looked at one another, then ran off out the door of the building. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. I could hear their voices outside. What was going on? Ah! A cluster of shots rang out, and I jumped. Saito returned, his placid face even more stern than usual. Oh, Saito, what's going on? Uh, cannon. A cannon. Yuun Temple, a temple located atop a mountain to the northeast of the Fushimi Magistrate's office. A freaking cannon. A cannon? No. What's with these eye screams? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I... <laughs> Ugh. The wall shook again as the cannon's thunderous report tore through the air. <laughs> he swore in frustration. They got small ones. They got small ones too. Uh -huh. <laughs> All of these screams are like so out of place. <laughs> isn't, isn't there some way we can make them stop shooting at us? I mean, couldn't we shoot back at them with a cannon or something? It was a foolish idea and I knew it, but I felt so useless standing around and screaming. I had to do something. Well, then can't we just shoot at them? Why not? Ah. Frick, yeah, and the forest would catch on fire. Too. Oh no. Then, there was nothing we could do. We just had to sit here and let them attack us? That was when Shimada ran in. We were already in trouble. Frick. Saito sucked at his teeth, and I could see his mind working furiously, searching for a solution. Toshi appeared, short of breath, and wearing his head guard and Shinsengumi uniform. Toshi! His words sent the magistrate's office into a frenzy. どういう作戦で行くつもりなんだ。大砲で反撃するのか。新たな大砲を引っ張り出してもよし、そう来ねえとな。やってやろうじゃねえか。さっちょうの奴ら見てやがれよ。Hickey. They all seemed more than ready to fight, but something still worried me. Um, Saito? How many men do they have? If you can take their cannon, will we win? Dang, that's a lot. Still, though, don't underestimate that. Then... We can't lose, right? Saito's mouth thinned to a tight line, and he looked at me for a moment before he answered. Yeah. I was about to ask him what he meant when Toshi began to call out orders. 
敵を一歩たりとも敷地内に入れるんじゃねえぞ焦らず倒していけはい。ゲンさん、ここの守りを頼む。俺は部隊を率いて本陣を攻めてくるからな。ああ、任せておいてくれ、トシさん。うん。プル。Soon as I take a bite. <laughs> He nodded and trotted off towards the entrance. Eh, entrance. さっき入った報告じゃ、敵の本陣は。ご工具神社らしいが。ご工具の宮。ご工具の宮。shrine。a shrine to the northeast of the Fushimi magistrate's office。that's a long word。途中にでっかい坂があり上がる。しかも坂の上には。銃を持った兵が構えてると来てる。Dang. 登ってる間に。狙い撃ちされちまうな。Go around. I apologize, dear Toshi, but can we go around? Toshi's voice trailed off, but all the men around. To, all the men around. To, to understand. That sounds like a weird sentence. To understand what that silence implied. If they were to win, they would have to thrust their forces into the heart of the enemy. In cap. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. The heart of the enemy encampment, and that would mean running straight into a line of gunfire. The men who left to go on the attack would be facing a good deal more danger than those left at the magistrate's office. There was a moment of silence before Nagakura fixed Toshi with a confident look and spoke. Yes, I got that. So, yeah, I'm going to kill you. Oh, yeah, are you sure about that? I'm going to kill you. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? <laughs> you positive? Kono mama yara de ponos de Nani mo de guinea mama warrior ye. He gave Toshi a grin, then turned to his men in the second division. Arena, Nibangumi no ina. Ino chirazna kumicho motta sede. Jigoku no sokoma de tsio serego de nachimate. Oof. Nani o iterun deska, Nagakura kumicho. Oh, wait, is, is Shimada in the second division? I don't remember. Oh, look at Saito's like, open eyes. He's like, what? <laughs> Saito looked up as Shimada spoke. Was something wrong? I thought perhaps he looked as if he wanted to say something, but it could have just as easily been my imagination. それじゃ二番組を切り込みたいに示す。ご工具神社を攻撃してきてくれ。ああ、任せといてくれよ。この長倉新八、ただじゃ死なねえぜ。飛び込む時は俺たち十番組が援護してやるからな。安心して突っ
that wasn't going to be an easy fight. Would they even return alive? This was the first time the Shinsengumi had fought such a large force, as well as the first time they'd faced guns and cannons. I believed in their skill, but I couldn't help feeling a certain amount of trepidation. With little else to do, I fell to praying for their safety and lost myself in my worries. Dang. I don't know how much time had passed. Ah! I felt a hand on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm down. Frickin' Saito went off to the temple. Oh, in a way. Yes. I know they're soldiers. They've been in danger before. But... This is different. There's all those guns out there. And a cannon. I'm scared some of them might not come back. You really think so? ま、I swear, if Saito comes back as a fury, I'm going to be angry. His words helped to calm my doubts. It was natural of me to worry, but I had forgotten they were all talented, intelligent men, capable of forging their own destinies, not frightened boys sent off to war and subject to the whims of fate. The courage in the face of death was a true samurai's greatest asset, and they had courage aplenty. You're right. I believe in them. They'll come back safely. <gasps> the words were only just out of my mouth when Yamasaki ran into the magistrate's office, his face drawn. Yamadaki, Frick。こちらが前に近づく前に撃たれてしまい、どうにもなりませんでした。そうか。これはいかんね。敵の主力は鉄砲か。ならば。Oh shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hit the button. My apologies. I don't even know what he said. <laughs> After the sunsets? Do you mean He nodded solemnly. Okay, so we lost a little bit of context on that. <laughs> I apologize again. Sometime later, the Fury Corps moved out under Sanan's command. They did have strength far beyond any humans. Perhaps they would be able to turn the tables. So, why don't I feel so relieved? Something still felt wrong. This battle was unlike anything I've experienced before, and my mind was still racing to catch up. I felt as if I was missing something important. But, what? Oh, oh my gosh! A gunshot, bleh, a gunshot sounded from the entrance. Our men would have had no reason to fire, which means it had to be... Oh, frick. Ah! That was a weird ah. Only moments after the soldier's voice reached me, Yamasaki ran into the room, his eyes wide. Me, me, me. Oh. Uh, I apologize. Oh my goodness. In a way, shook his head. Yamazaki-kun, I can't go. Nasake, nai, hanashi da ga. 
私一人ではこの奉行所を守りきるのは無理だそれはみみみ Yamazaki frowned and began pacing back and forth. <laughs> Once again, the deafening thunder of the cannon shook the magistrate's office. If the bombardment continued, we were surely done for. I'll do it! I'll deliver the message! <laughs> I know. I'm no good in a fight. I mean, I can barely protect myself, and it'd be difficult for me to take down a warrior from the Satsuma or Choshu, but. I think I could proper bit. I think I could probably make it to. Oh shoot, it's that long word. Goko un om mi. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like taking me out of the、um, experience with that long word. Ryu un temple without being discovered. And I was a demon after all. If I was wounded, it would heal quickly. In fact, I could probably take on one or two bullets and not die. If one of you leaves, then we won't have any hope of mounting a defense when the Satsuma attack. But if I go, you'll still be at full strength. I wouldn't be fighting anyway, even if I did stay here. Inoue seemed torn, but it took him only moments to make up his mind. He wasn't happy about it, but we all knew there was no time to waste. Right. <sighs> That's what I was going to go for anyway. If they gave me an option to go to either or, I would have definitely gone for <laughs> that one. Yes, sir. Hi! Heck yeah. Right. Thank you. We got this. I believe in us. Your boys got this. I believe in you too. I said a silent prayer of thanks and protection for Unoe and Yamazaki and ran for the back door. <sighs> I ran through the darkened forest, the stars, and little light down beneath the can canopy. Oh, frick. The night was thick and black, and I could barely see, but fear would have to wait. Oh my goodness, I had no time. I could hear the cannon firing again and again in the darkness. There had to be fighting going on nearby, although I couldn't see it. I hoped fervently that everyone was safe, if I could just make it in time.、Uh、oh! I felt someone nearby and slowed to a halt. <laughs> no! All around me were men wearing the blue jackets of the Shinsengumi. And sing in pain. It wasn't just a few of them. They'd gathered together in groups spread out through this part of the forest at the center. <laughs> Saito, baby, no! Saito stood, sword in hand, his chest heaving. What was going on? I'd never before seen him so. I heard. Narodo, Meo Miharu Taidukus Namami no Karada de whatever they only know who can eat sweet to Kurutu. Frick you, I'm a gurry. Oh, my goodness, it's him again. Beyond Saito stood Amagari, the demon. Oh, I stepped back and a twig snapped beneath my foot slowly, deliberately. Amagri's gaze turned towards me. Frick. Ah.、Uh, uh, yeah, I 
I chose to ignore Amaguri and turned instead to Saito. Saito, there's trouble. The Satsuma are attacking the Fushimi Magistrate's office. You have to call off the attack on the Ryun Temple and rush back to the Magistrate's office right away. He inclined his head slightly in acknowledgement, then turned back to Amaguri. His eye, his eyes blue still slits. Oh my god, his eyes blue slits. His eyes blue. Oh, okay, never mind. I hope you are not going to, like, put in one last blow and then go. Just go, man. Oh no, you're gonna get hurt! The moment the last word was out of his mouth, he leapt forward with tremendous speed, tr tremendous speed, and his sword flickered through the air, heading straight for Amaguri. <clears throat> he he's not gonna do it. At first, I didn't believe what I was seeing. Amaguri had caught the incoming blade with his bare hands and flung it aside. Then, in the same mo movement, he made to chop his hand into Saito's unguarded side. Oh my. <gasps> He deflected Amaguri's blow with his left arm and struck again with his sword. <laughs> he dodged to the side, avoiding the sword thrust, but Saito took that split second opening to launch another attack, driving Amaguri back. His steel shimmered in the night, leaping through the air and snaking its way through Amaguri's defenses to strike at his vitals. You got this, Saito. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. <gasps> Did you get it, Saito? The very tip of Saito's sword slid across Amaguri's cheek, and a thin line of blood trickled down his face. Frick, Saito, this is not the time to continue this fight. Please walk away. I don't want you to die. That's what you get for underestimating your opponent. あなたは素晴らしい使い手です、サイト。おそらく鬼ですら、あなたと対等に戦える者は多くないでしょう。褒め言葉など俺には無意味だが、俺は一回の武士に過ぎんから。you're not one of little note for me. He paused a moment to wipe sweat beating off of his forehead. Please don't do a final blow on Saito, please. Please. Please don't. What I saw then, I could scarcely believe. No, 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 no. Come on, no. Oh my goodness. What the frick? Well, now we know that they are actually demons. <laughs> On Amaguri's forehead, horns appeared. Great white things. Like what you might see in old books or, paint or paintings. His hair turned white, like that of a fury, and his eyes began to glow with a strange, otherworldly light. When he spoke, his voice rumbled with a terrible power. I was expecting red eyes, but uh, yellow eyes are just as good. Oh. Oh my goodness, Saito's already having a hard time. Just just back away. Just back away, Saito. Just back away from this fight. You, it's fine. I won't tell anybody. Your honor won't be, like, sullied or anything. Just just back away from this fight, because, uh, you, hoo -ha, you... Yeah. Oh, frick. Then he leapt towards Saito like a bullet from a gun, closing the distance between them in the blink of an eye. He was far, far faster than he had been a moment before. No. Saito did his best to keep up with Amaguri's blows, but he seemed slower now. No, Saito wasn't slower. Amaguri was just too fast for him. Frick, 
Rick, Saito, just, just walk away, Saito, just walk away. He sounded almost disappointed. <laughs> no, Saito! Saito cried out as Amaguri struck his left arm. Saito! I was about to run up to him. <laughs> like hell I will! <laughs> I don't care about that. I care about you. I'll make sure he won't take me. Oh. Rick, Saito. Also, that face that Saito is making is pretty nice, even though it's a little saddening. Naraba. Oh, frick, man. Amaguri kicked the ground. Saito tried to swing with one more decisive blow as Amaguri charged towards him, but even so, Amaguri saw right through him. Then, suddenly, before Saito could block, frick, he threw an iron fist punch into him. Frick. Oh. He ground his teeth and sweat dripped down his forehead. The pain he was feeling had to be incredible. Had Amaguri's blow broken his arm? Frick, no. But he ran towards Amaguri, his sword held high and defiance burning in his eyes. <laughs> he baited Saito's attacks. He batted, oh, he batted Saito's attacks aside, one after another, as calmly as if he were waving away flies. Saito was in bad shape. He looked tired, and though he had managed to ignore the pain, his arms still clearly hurt him. If he didn't gain the upper hand, and quickly, he'd lose to his own fatigue. I... I want him to retreat. I want him to retreat, but he doesn't want to. I really want him to retreat, but he's... Even if I say that to him, he's going to refuse. Rick, what do I do? What do I do? He's going to... He's going to die if he continues, but... Even if I say, let's retreat, he's going to freaking... Say no. Frick. <sighs> Gonna save, don't mind me. Frick. I I'm trying to think of the scenarios in my head, like... Like, what could happen if we say this to him? Like, you could win Saito. Does that mean that Saito will get injured and he'll drink the water of life in desperation? Will that happen if we say that? But also, if we say let's retreat for now, will Saito just still continue fighting? And then the same exact thing will happen? Like, do we give him encouragement? Or do we just, like, anger him? That, that That's... That's how I'm seeing it right now. Rick. He, he straight up will ignore me if I say let's retreat. I know he will. Frick. I don't... Because we... Mm -hmm. He needs a morale boost. Let's become a proper protagonist and give him a morale bo boost. I believe in you. You can be him. Amaguri was powerful in his demon form, but Saito had never been one to fight battles he knew he couldn't win. Perhaps that was why he'd won every battle he'd ever fought. You can do this. As I watched, Saito's expression turned grim and he froze in place. Oh, frick. I like how it says his name, but it, you know. Oh, 
I was about to ask him what he was doing when... それは誇っても良いことですよ。人としては軍を抜く権威の持ち主だからこそ。この私の強さを実感できる。I was about to click it. I was about to click it mid his sentence. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> there was a tinge of satisfaction to Amagri's voice as he lowered his hands from their fighting stance. Who are you guys? Why are you always getting in the way of the Shinsengumi? I know nothing. What? Ninjenたちがこの日の元に住み着くはるか以前から我々鬼はこの日の元で暮らしていました。ですが人間がこの地で暮らすようになり。why every single time i take a bite sin had told me something about this before the demon clan asked time and time again for aid from the dom dominion of man and time and time again men turned them down Oh, that's it. No. Assume so if he's fighting with him. Amaguri shook his head. Oh. Then don't then why are you fighting with him? If you want to live in peace, then why the heck are you fighting? Interesting. Battle of Sekigahara. The battle in which the Eastern Army, led by Iyasu Tokugawa, defeated the Western Army, led by Mitsu Nari Ishida. Ishida. The ultimate result of this battle was the rise of the Tokugawa Shogunite. What? What does my father have to do with any of this? Don't tell me. A father is like Kazuma? Did he really want to create a world of demons just like Kazuma? His eyes had narrowed to angry slits. <laughs> he smiled. With a small shudder, Amaguri's horns disappeared and his hair changed back to its normal human color. I wasn't sure what to think of Amaguri. It didn't seem that his intention was to be kind to us, and yet he was allowing Saito and his men and myself to leave. At the very least, it seemed he had some sense of justice. I have no idea. I was too busy paying attention to you. No, I don't think so. Right. We had just turned to leave when he spoke one last time. Kazama, I 
人の手で彼女を守りきるのは無理でしょう。今後は別行動を取ることを勧めます。Nope. And with that, he disappeared into the night like silent mist. What's funny is that the, we're, we're going for Saito. So all of that is like <laughs> in a romantic way as well as、um, a protective way. <laughs> Saito stood stock still for several moments where Amaguri had disappeared, his gaze fierce. Come on, Saito. We need to go. He didn't seem to hear me. Saito? Are you all right? Did you get hurt? Frick, don't think about it, Saito, please.、Uh -huh. His voice was so quiet I could barely hear him. After several more seconds of silence, he slowly raised his head. He's thinking too hard. Poor baby's thinking too hard. R right. What had Saito been thinking about? Was he really all right? Pensive silence was nothing new for him, but I'd felt something different from, his time th from him this time. Frustration, perhaps? I don't know. Oh, frick, the place is on fire. As we ran back, the, rustles, the rustling of leaves resounded through the night streets. Oh, my frick. Night streets. Mate? Mate? When we'd reached the hill, Saito stopped suddenly in his tracks. What's the matter? We have a nice picture of Saito, but I feel like something's wrong. He watched as below the hill, the town of Fushimi was within eye distance from the top, and it was lit ablaze with a roaring flame. Apparently. I gasped at the sight. No! The Shinsengumi were protecting the magistrate, but now it was on fire? Inoue and Yamazaki were there. I could see a color of bitterness in Saito's, the well being of his comrades. Wait, I could see a color of bitterness in Saito's, the well being of his. That's a weird sentence. If the Fushimi magistrate were to fall, then it would mean the Shinsengumi were now driven from the town they spent four years protecting. For Saito, a man who'd always hold who bleh, a man who always held his duty to the Shinsengumi above all else, this must have been the most regrettable feeling. Dot dot dot. I struggled to find meaningful words to say, so instead I just hung my head low. Just hold on to his sleeve. Like, like, wrap your arms around his one arm and give him reassurance. <laughs> his expression warped, and I could swear that I could hear his teeth grinding. Saito took one last look down at the burning scenery of Fushimi below. Then. Going to Osaka Castle? Osaka Castle, a stronghold of the shogunate built by Hideyoshi、uh, Toyotomi during the Warring States period in order to surpass、uh, Nobu, uh, Nobunaga's.、Uh, Atchusi, a, a, Atchusi Castle? I totally butchered that. It was considered in. Well.Alright. <laughs> Saito and I led the rest of the men towards Osaka Castle. 
no sooner than had we yeah that's a weird no sooner than had we reached the base of the mountain however we encountered an enemy patrol oh frick i don't have the oz in me tonight <laughs> ah <laughs> it's so lackluster Several gunshots echoed through the forest. I wasn't bleh. I wasn't sure if there was an actual attack or just a warning. Well, frick. Ah! <laughs> the crack of a gunshot sounded again, closer this time, and I jumped. Yeah. R right. I shrunk down as small as I possibly could and held my hands desperately over my mouth. Are there guns vampires? <laughs> or something? No. No, it's the other way around. What are their guns then? How can... I, I don't think that's right, Saito. Uh, I'm sorry. The gunfire had scared me, but if I made too much noise, then I could endanger Saito and the other Shinsengumi. Eventually, the sun did set, and the forest fell into darkness. The gunshots slowed, bleh, the gunshots slowed, then stopped. Suddenly, it was very quiet. Also, if you look at the trees, <laughs> the texture on them is uh, squiggles. Kind of, it's kind of funny. Uh, maybe. True, unless they have torches. Hi. You say. We stepped out of the thicket. We'd been hiding in and headed off down the mountain. Oh, frick, that spooked me. Ah! <laughs> I need another second for that one. That one really did spook me because the music's gotten too. So I'm like, everything's fine. It's fine, you know, and the dope gunshot. Oof. We hadn't been walking for long when the guns started again, likely because of our footsteps. This time, however, they seemed to be shooting anywhere and everywhere, not directly at us. Can they even see us? It seems Saito had been right about a lo loss of precision once night had fallen. They could see shadows moving and hear our footsteps, but between the darkness and the trees, actually finding us was proving difficult. We might actually be able to join up with the rest of the men at this rate. So done. So done. Kazuma, no! It's him. Everybody, it's him. He's come for us. Go away! It was him. No, thank you. I don't want to be your soon to be wife. You can frick right off, man. Yeah, because I don't care about their freaking strength. I care about their personality. Thank you very much. And I like Saito. Y you. Of all the times we could have encountered Kazuma, why now? I didn't realize I'd been frozen to the spot by stepped. I didn't realize I'd been frozen to the spot by stepped between. Something's definitely up with this translation. Uh, I didn't realize I'd been frozen to the spot, but Saito stepped between Kazuma and myself. Oh, Saito. I still don't know how your arm is. As he spoke, Saito drew his sword. B but... There was steel in his tone this time. 
俺と戦うつもりだ<笑>こいつはいい Hey don't down talk my man 戦のさなかに貴重な女鬼を死なされてはたまらぬと思い奪い取りに来た Then don't have the battle. Hm, hm, hm. Kisamagotoki, a conor to matomoni kiria to the mo moti, you know. He's fighting for my love, but he doesn't need to because I already love him. <laughs> he chuckled again as he drew his own sword. Asuma's hair turned white. Oh, frick, he has four horns. Four horn babes. He looked almost godly, like a lion. Uh, I think so. Frick, Saito. Oh no, Saito. It wasn't just how he looked, though. His desire to kill was fiercely radiating. Amaguri had said that Kazuma was even more powerful than he was, and Saito had been clearly outmatched by Amaguri. Just watching from afar makes me understand that this man knew what he was talking about. Kazuma possessed powers far beyond what even someone like Saito could hope to fight against. So, why? Saito made the first move. His sword raised high over his head. He charged forward and brought it down toward Kasuma's right shoulder. But when the sword reached its destination, Kasuma was simply gone. Saito snapped his head around looking for his opponent. Oh, Rex Saito. No, 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 no. A silver blade threw, flew through the night towards Saito. No! <laughs> No! I heard the horrible wet sound of a blade passing through flesh and blood splattered to the ground. Saito grunted and swung his sword back toward Kazuma, but again he cut only air. Oh no! The demon darted around behind him, his sword glistening with gore. No! No! No, Saito! More blood dripped to the forest floor. Saito ground his teeth, his eyes wide with pain, but he kept his feet and tried desperately to match Kazuma's attack. Frick! But his foe was, was too fast, and as soon as Saito had found him, he had disappeared or struck again. Oh, no! That was only two swipes and four blood splatters! Oh my goodness. The night air was filled with grunts of pain and the sickening hiss of steel through flesh. <gasps> no, the baby! The baby, no! It's hard to believe. <laughs> Every inch of his clothes was soaked in blood, but still Saito glared at Kazuma with fierce hatred. Understandable. Kazuma wants his girl. <laughs> Oh man, you're definitely going to be nothing. Two of the men who'd been watching leapt towards Kasuma as Saito fell back. Yeah, he's going to kill them. Yep. Kazuma's sword shimmered and the two men fell to the ground. He didn't even blink. His skill with the sword was nothing short of superhuman. His blade moved too fast for my eyes to catch. Frick. Frick, Saito. Saito said nothing and tightened his blood-stained hands around the hilt of his sword. Oh no, Saito. He ran towards Kazuma, all of his strength behind this desperate attack. 
Frick. Ah! And the music stopped. Saito, no. Cosmos blade sliced through his body and blood rained down onto the dirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, my baby, no. He still stood, but blood loss and fatigue were taking their toll. And even I could see he was getting slower. Nonetheless, his hand stayed clasped around his sword, even if his arms could no longer lift it. Even against Amaguri, he hadn't been beaten so completely. I know he had just told me to stay back, but... S Saito! Please, you have to stop! I I'll just go with him! Then he'll leave you and your men alone! <laughs> Frick, Saito, I don't want you to be hurt even more. That wouldn't do that, though. Saito's not that kind of man. That was some good voice acting right there. I looked up at Saito, my eyes pleading. Kazuma's words were hardly subtle, but if Saito did leave me behind, I was sure no one would blame him. あ、サイト。彼女は俺の部下を。この手でこの剣で守る。サイト。Saito. Saito made no move to leave. His eyes burned with fury, even as the rest of him bled and slumped. He can't leave now. He loves her. He has passion behind those eyes, and he does not want his girl to be taken. <laughs> no. He laughed as he drove his sword into Saito's body. Actual love. Oh, frick. This is just an overkill, man. Love. <laughs> he no longer had even enough strength to lift his arms and block Cosmo's attacks. No, please, stop! I couldn't stand to just sit and watch, so I unsheathed my kodachi, and I charged straight for Kazuma. However... <laughs> Kazuma saw me on the corn in the corner of his eye and kicked me to the floor, and I couldn't even buy sight all time. Just then... I watched as Saito's body slumped, and his body dropped to the ground.
I am going to cry. From here, it seemed like he was still breathing. But at this rate, it's only a matter of time before he could lose enough blood to die. Then, a tiny vial dropped from Saito's pocket, twinkling against his kimono. Oh no, that's... <laughs> it was a bottle of the water of life. Quick question, how in the world do you know that though? Like, how do you know that's... That's exactly what it looks like. Saito lifted his bloody face to glare at Kazuma. Then... He is. He's gonna do it. He's gonna be a fury. With his last bit of strength, he grabbed the bottle. I... You don't need that serum! Even without the water of life, Saito, you are very strong! Baby, yes. But also, baby hurt. Baby. Baby. Saito popped the lid off the bottle, and he gulped the contents of the bottle. Saito, no! I screamed so desperately it strained my throat. The next instant, the scars all over Saito's whole... Sai Another typo. Saito's whole body began to regenerate. <laughs> Saito, you got this. I believe in you, Saito. And then... There stood a fury, his hair shimmering white. He seemed surprised by the sudden changes on his body, but... Just seeing his cuts and gashes to heal, he was renewed with confident energy. He don't need no pride. He needs no pride when he has love. Saito's expression didn't change. Saito came a fury after drinking the water of life. With a slow hand, he wiped the dried blood from his face, and when he spoke, his voice was quiet and calm. And love, don't forget love. I have a feeling that this whole entire scene happens even if we aren't going for Saito. And I am going to choose to believe that all of this has the under uh, undertones of love in its context. Not just honor. So I'm going to take it as that. <laughs> he, lifted his, he lifted his sword to a fighting stance. That sort of attitude was just what I would have expected from Saito, but for him to become a fury simply because the Shinsengumi had ordered him to protect me was horrible. Yeah, he's doing it for more. He loves you. I had turned him into a monster. He's lying to you. He's doing it for me. No, he's doing it because he wants to protect the main character. Perhaps. Perhaps. He's lying. He's totally doing it for love. And he believes in the love that he has for the main character.
I swear. Every time I take a bite. Saito threw himself threw himself towards Cosma in the same breath, his words almost a snarl. You got this. The demon deflected his attacks with ease and smiled back. Oh, you don't say that about his swords. He struck again and again, and it seemed that had, and it's and it seemed that had oh yeah had closed the gap between them at least somewhat. Bit by bit, Saito's well-aimed blows drove Kasuma back. Oh, frick yeah, you got this, Saito! The tension between them was almost palpable, like the air before a thunderstorm. <gasps> no. From time to time, Kasuma landed a blow of his own on Saito, but those wounds closed almost immediately thanks to his new fury blood. <laughs> His voice is very soft right there. Just when Kasuma shouted that... He didn't necessarily shout it, the voice acting was soft-spoken. A familiar voice echoed through the night. なんのようだ。せっかくの宴を邪魔しに来たのか。殺馬藩の方があなたを呼んでいますよ。早くお戻りなさい。この言語と気が俺に命令だと会いたいのなら貴様から出向けと伝えておけ。アンダーステンダブ
is that the same? I don't freaking know. Sometime later, we finally arrived at Osaka Castle. So long as we were at the castle, we weren't likely to run into enemy patrols. And for that, I was grateful. Um, Saito? Uh, how are you feeling? Well, I realized suddenly that I couldn't talk about the Furies openly with so many people around. Instead, I simply mumbled at a loss for words. He must have guessed what I was getting at, and for a second or two before responding. At the moment... Really? But Toto and Sana and said that it was hard for them to be up during the day. It, it is my concern. We are lovers. Those words pierced my heart. Well, I mean, I could understand his coldness. But the water of life, the thing that would now change his entire life, was because of my father. And the fact that we're lovers. You gotta tell me how you are. I don't care about them. I care about you. Wonder. The atmosphere in the castle was certainly restless, even as I watched wounded soldiers being carried in. Harada? No, Shimpachi. Voice. やっぱり斉藤だ。お前生きてたのかよ。シンパチ。ま、斉藤も心配にだけは言われたくねえだろうな。なんかくら、ほらら、you're both safe. <笑> Oh, he knows. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. Saito's mouth thinned, but he said nothing. There was no way Nagakura could have known the true reason for Saito's apparent good health. For a man like Saito, someone with absolute faith in his sword and his skill, to admit weakness weakness and reach for the water of life i could only imagine how torturous it must have been heck yeah we are oh heck yeah what about what about gen and... What about the other two? So, so he quickly scrubbed tears from his eyes with a fist and smiled at us. Oh, what happened to Yamazaki and Uno? Yeah, <laughs> and Inoue. No. Were, were they hurt? Harada spoke up, but his voice was strained. What about Inoue? Dang. Hey, but what about Inoue? Oh no. What about Inoue? Is he alright? He's alright, isn't he? I felt my stomach clench with dread. Inoue had to be alright. He had to. They were supposed to laugh it off, to smile and reassure me and say that Inoue was fine. But they didn't. It was Nagakura who finally spoke. No. <sighs> no. 
My throat tightened, and I could feel tears rising to my eyes. あの状況で決して約束を考えたりしないものだよ。あの状況で決して約束を考えたりしないものだよ。あの状況で決して約束を考えたりしないものだよ。あの状況で決して約束を考えたりしないものだよ。あの状況で決して約束を考えたりしない
Oop, I hit my mic. <laughs> How are you, Toto? How's it going? How, how's it like to be a fury? <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be demons. Oh, that's right.回復力です。それを封じられてしまえば、ただの人間と変わりがない。あみにおそはゆるリフレックスズンエブリティング。今回の戦で残ってたラセス隊のやつらもほとんど殺されちまってさ。俺たちも途方に暮れてるとこなん
Saito, of course, wasn't safe from this this bleh, wasn't safe from this dejection. Um Saito? I stopped myself for a second, but decided to approach him. However, he kept his eyes fixed on his tatami mat, not even acknowledging me. Saito? I called out to him once more, and all of a sudden, he snapped out of his concentration, and he shot a glance towards me. Oh, I think you need to relax and rest. Saito didn't seem to believe his own words, and his tone lacked any luster or emotion. I couldn't really blame him, though. He and the other Shinsengumi captains had risked their lives to uphold the Shogunite flag in battle, and then Lord Shinobu, yeah, Shinobu, just gave up. To think, our supreme commander could even think to abandon his men and his army. I'm here for you. I want to check on you. Saito seemed eager for me to leave, but I just stood there, looking back at him, and instead of leaving, I asked him a question. Um, Saito, what's going to happen to the Shinsengumi? Saito was clearly annoyed, throwing another question at me. Seeing the coldness of his response made me flinch a little. But I thought it was an important question to ask, so I did what I thought was necessary to help my anxieties. Lord Shinobu has abandoned us, right? So if we follow him back to Edo, what will happen then? Does his retreat mean that the Shogunite has no further plans to fight against the Satsuma and Choshu troops? But I want to check on you. Sashiatatehitsiyonanova.Keganin not even our love. His words came at me quickly and aggressively, and it made me think something was off. Even when he seemed agitated or things were hectic, Saito always found time to speak with me or answer my questions. But today, he was completely flip flippant, flippant, looking as though he were trying to avoid talking to me altogether. Understandable, understandable. He he fought for me. He took the water of life for me. And he feels disgraced now that he isn't normal. So he's a little off put by us, even though he still loves us. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. How should I answer? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna save real quick. Uh. Saito, we need to talk. But if Lord Yoshin Yoshinobu doesn't think we can win the war, then what good can we do from here? Inoue lost his life, and now it seems like Yamazaki isn't too far behind him. What did they, or any of the other men who fought for us, die for? Saito seemed taken aback, looking as though what I'd said made him ill, so I felt a little guilty projecting all of these frustrations onto him. I was only asking Saito these things, though, 
because I was desperate and being consumed by my anxiety. It seemed like an answer didn't come to Saito immediately, and he faced the ground. Come on, Saito. His tone was icy, and he gritted his teeth. Okay. I nodded quietly, and the two of us made our way for the ridge, or for the triage. When I looked at Saito's back, his posture seemed so broken. I stopped to call out for him. Even since I lost contact with my father, I'd felt so lonely and full of worry. But I thought that my worries would do me no good, so I made the decision to come to Kyoto myself to search for him. So, I may not know exactly what you're feeling, or how you're dealing with those feelings, but in the end, I think what's important is to trust those feelings and act on them. Saito stopped in his tracks, and he seemed to twitch a bit. Soon, he turned around to face me. Just a second ago, his eyes seemed dead, but it appears they have been reignited with purpose. He looked at me sternly. His words were curt, but it felt like a sense of determination had returned to Saito. As the two of us were leaving the castle, he turned around once more, sadness resting in his face. Are you all right? I asked him softly, but he gave me no answer. After a pause, he wiped the cold sweat from his brow, and he looked into my eyes. His voice was resolute. Being out in the sun as a fury, from what I'd heard, was quite painful. Um, if you start feeling sick, then maybe you should rest until evening. I made a timid suggestion, but Saito quietly looked back at me and muttered. Uh huh? The suddenness of his statement caught me off guard, and I stared confused at him. He turned to face his feet, and his tone seemed almost self-deprecating. Self Saito looked at me sheepishly, sheepishly, as if he were embarrassed by his own doubts earlier. Seeing his reaction made me realize something. All this time, Saito worked hard to let his doubts and worries never get the best of him. But I wasn't the only person who felt these doubts. Saito, this whole time, was also anxious. I mean, he never showed any sign of worry when he was ordered to spy on the guard, or when he drank the water of life. In my heart, somehow, I had just assumed that he was impervious to worry, and that he always got the better of his emotions. Then, he looked longingly into my eyes. だが、それもすべて江戸に戻ってからのことは。我々の行く末はこれからだ。だからあんたの不安はわかるが、今は考える必要はない。今は自分たちのすべきことをなし、そして江戸を目指す。はい。Yes. Saito turned back around to make his way to the dock, but his aura had completely changed. If I had done anything to improve Saito's mood, then nothing could make me happier. I was thrilled that, even just once, that I was able to give back to Saito. I know that Saito and the Shinsengumi will be able to find their purpose as we return to Endo, but when we return to Edo, or en en Endo, 
what awaits me? The whole reason I left Edo was for the purpose of finding my father. Later that night, I couldn't bring myself to sleep. Tomorrow, the men of the Shinsengumi would be on their way aboard a ship to Edo. But what was to become of me? There were rumors floating about that my father was siding with the Satsuma Choshu troops, and now, to top it off, he was with Kazuma. I'm sure this is what Saito had reported to Toshi when they spoke together. So technically, the Shinsengumi no longer had any obligation to look after me. I was running through all of these thoughts when I'd heard footsteps from outside my room. I wonder who it could have been at this hour. Softly, I slid my door open to take a quick peek and see whom it was. Saito, Saito, yes! I am, I am. Saito. <laughs> yes, I know that, but... When we return to Edo, all of you will be on standby for the next battle, right? I felt nervous speaking, especially with what I'd wanted to say next, but... So... Am I... Not allowed to come along with you guys? I know I'm not really much used on this. I know I'm not really of much use on the battlefield, and I can barely protect myself. Well, especially if we're up against Kazuma, then I stand no chance of protecting myself. And I know that the reason you let me stay with you all because I was. And I know that the reason you let me stay with you all. They're missing a was. And I know that the reason you let me stay with you all was because I was looking for my father. So, yeah, there's nothing really keeping you guys responsible for me anymore. Does that make me a burden? Dot dot. His words were a lot harsher than I anticipated. And I could only hang my head. He was right. All I'd ever be was a burden if I couldn't fight, but still insisted to be by their side. Toba不死身の戦であんたも実感したはずだ。これからの戦は今までのものとは違う。今日隣にいた者が明日には無黒へと変わる。そんな日が続くに違いない。それでも我々は武士として。Hearing Saito's words made me realize that, even if it hurts to say it, he puts my safety above almost anything. Saito wasn't necessarily the best person with words, but it still made my heart warm to hear it. I do have a reason, though. You saved my life, Saito. So I want to pay you back. His own purposes being the fact that he loves the MC. It's not a good enough... <laughs> That's not a good enough excuse. Would you be satisfied hearing it from my side if I had told you the same thing? Saito turned away, refusing to look at me as if he were dealing with a petulant child from which he could not wait to leave. Eventually... <gasps> Are you leaving? Oh? Saito reached for the Kodachi on my hip, and without a word, took it into his hands, sheathed. He gripped my Kodachi tightly. <laughs> Ito looked into my eyes intently, 
gazing towards me with a quiet seriousness, and I gave a huge nod. Oh, he looks so handsome. Saito silently handed me back the Kodachi, watching my movements as if he was still testing me. His eyes glimmered against the light, and he stared back at me while I gulped nervously. Because you're going to treat me as a lover? Yeah? You're going to treat me like a lover, yeah? Dot, dot, dot. His eyes were stern, and they were staring at me with such intensity that I couldn't breathe. But I asked to stay, keeping all of this in mind. With this newfound resolved, I reached for my kodachi, and Saito smiled faintly. We're touching hands, we're touching hands, but holy cow, um, our hand looks very small compared to his. <laughs> I'll follow you wherever you go. Okay. Although his exceptions for me were huge, I felt warm from his words, and I loosened up. During the four years in which the Shinsengumi had looked after me, I couldn't ever shake the thought of feeling like an outsider. But now, for the first time, I finally felt like I'd been accepted as one of them. I will follow the Shinsengumi wherever you guys go, and I'll be by your side the whole time, Saito. No matter what happens in the future, I have faith in everyone, including you, Saito. So he kept his responses brief. I could see the smile forming on Saito's lips. I wondered if he was even a little happy to hear that I was going to join them. I'm sure we will be facing the Satsuma and Choshu, and even Kazuma when we return, or when we return to Edo, but... I felt like as long as I'm with Saito, I'll be all right. I had a mysterious confidence well up in my heart, and I smiled back. Kiss, 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 kiss. No kiss, okay. <laughs> and I believe that is the end of Hakuoki. Kyoto wins. Not counting the DLC, though. It's only been two hours. Look at Saito. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful credits. In this house, we do not skip credits. In this house, we give credit to everybody. Everybody. You see these names? Appreciate them all. <laughs> we wouldn't have this without all these people. So, mm, yummy. Oh man, are they only going to give me Saito pictures? I'm going to up the volume a little bit on this because it's a very pretty song. Oh, I think they are only going to give me Saito pictures. That's a very soft song. Oh, maybe. I don't think we... Wait, did we get that one? I don't know. I don't remember if we got that one. I'll have to check the gallery. <laughs> Look at us. She's so cute. Also, I never noticed that she has, like, technically two hair ties. No, baby! I am so glad they are only giving us Sekto once they know. <laughs> it's probably programmed to have whatever one you were romancing in for the credits, honestly. <laughs> uh, since it's only been, like, two hours, I'm kind of tempted to do the DLC, but I don't know how long it is. Look at his eyes. He's so pretty. I don't know. Should I do- should I do the DLC? I don't know if I should or not.
So pretty. Idea Factory. Black screen. <gasps> Are we on the boat? January, 1868. The Battle of Toba Fushimi ended with Satsuma and Choshu victorious. As the Shogunai troops retreated, the Shinsengumi headed towards Edo. Four years ago, I came to Kyoto all by myself in search for my father and met the Shinsengumi. I'm going to leave the city of Kyoto where I made fond memories with the Shinsengumi. Despite the defeat, his resolve didn't waver and I have chosen to walk alongside him. We are going to head to Edo without knowing what fate awaits us. That him being Saito. <laughs> In. For now, until we move on to Edo Blossoms and do DLCs. <laughs> I got a message back. Okay. Seen at 9.30 p.m. What does that mean? What, what kind of ach achievement is that? I don't know. It's only been two hours, everybody. I'm going to do DLC. I'm assuming the DLC isn't going to be too, too long. So... Record of service. What's that? Oh. Oh, and then these are the separate stories that you have with the others. And I specifically decide though. <laughs> Interesting. Now let's look at the gallery. I want to see... Event? Yeah. Oh, we did miss one. We missed one. I am totally going to go back and look for that one specifically. Because <laughs> I want all of them. Give me all of Saito, please. <laughs> I'm also totally going to go back and save those as my wallpaper for my computer. <laughs> so let's look at the encyclopedia. So, ooh. We still have some not unlocked. So there weren't a whole bunch of terms used this time. And I think we saw all of them. So, doing quick little fourth one of Saito. Yeah, there isn't a whole, whole lot for these. Osaka Castle. And then silver. Yep, that was all of them. Oh, so delicious. So delicious. Let's do DLC. It's only been two hours, as I keep repeating that. My apologies. <laughs> so I feel like we should uh, take up some more time, because I... I want more. Honestly, I want more. I want to do some DLC. I want to do some DLC with... Wait, wind, bo wind treasure box? What's that? I don't know what that is. <gasps> but of course we're going to do DLC with Saito. Of course. Oh, dang. March 1865. Okay, so it is in between. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe this is the missing image. It may be. During one afternoon, as the air was filling with the scent of a new spring season, I had found myself cleaning in front of the gate. Oh, hello, Saito. Are you heading out? Oh, dinner ingredients. You're going by yourself? They're sick? Supposedly some of the other warriors have spent another late night in... Shimabara? Yeah, Shimabara partying. So by ill, Saito probably meant to say they were suffering a serious hangover. But I couldn't help but think it must have been a hassle for Saito to try and buy, let alone carry, the dinner ingredients for all of the men. <gasps> Is this a shopping trip episode? Is this a shopping trip with Saito? <gasps> Saito, would you mind if I tag along? I am, but I think you need help with groceries. I'm actually almost finished. If you could just give me a second. Or would I just be inconveniencing you if I joined you? 
Saito turned to the side, absentmindedly stroking his chin as he thought to himself. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, can you wait here? I'm gonna tell Toshi that I'm gonna be running errands with you. Heck yes. Yes. Hold on a minute, Saito. Or hold on a moment, Saito. Look, they're selling tofu. Nani? <laughs> Nani? Tofu? You like tofu, right, Saito? We're here, so we might as well get some. Besides, we still have some money left over. We're getting tofu. I don't care if it's not on the list of necessary ingredients. We are getting tofu. Well, we can put some of the tofu in the miso soup, and the vegetables we bought for the soup can be put into another dish. So if we do that, we'll have an extra side dish, and I'm sure the warriors will be happy. Yes. Yes, listen to me. <laughs> Great. Mind waiting for a second? I'm gonna go ask the clerk if there are any specials he can give us. Hey. Sure, I'll take it from here. Da, da, da. Oh, it was even cheaper than I thought. <laughs> Let's head back. それにしてもあんたは何故俺の好物を知っているのだ話した覚えはないがうう。うん。あ。うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、うん。あ、
I think I want to see what this guy's is. I want to see what this guy's is. We're going off the psychopath for a little bit. May 1865. Some had passed since, I think they meant to have some time, had passed since the Shinsengumi moved their compounds to the Nishi Hangwonji Temple. Iba had been visiting the compounds, and I joined him outside for the first time in a long while. However, I couldn't help the feeling that I was being observed by someone nearby. Look at that hair. Look at that face. Look at everything about this a man. He's so pretty. Oh, I hope we see more of him later. <laughs> ah, I guess so, huh? Of course, it didn't change the fact that everyone should be alert, but seeing that Kyoto hadn't fallen into complete disarray calmed my anxiety a little. Uh huh? It seems like there's a group of people gathered over there. I wonder what they could be doing. A palm reader? What? But... Are you anything? Well, it's not that, but... Look at all those people waiting in line. I bet we'll be waiting for a while. Oh, he's so cute. What? What do you mean by that? Oh, he's so cute. I think we should go inside. Oh, Iba took my hand and we got in line. This will be interesting. After a long while of waiting, it was finally our turn. Hi. So, let's see. Hi. Oh, sure. Here you go. I put my hand forward. Hmm. <laughs> Luck with the opposite gender? I have already. Oh. He knows! He knows it's Saito! What? Really? I felt giddy. その結婚相手というのは一体どんな人なんです？もう少し詳しくお願いします。え、いや、これはあくまでもただの占いだから。もちろんそれは存じています。確たる証拠がなくても構いません。Eva, are you jealous? Eva, are you wanting to make sure that it's you, good sir? Oh my goodness. Uh, 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 Eva? いや、だから。あ、うん、いば。ファームリーダーズアンカンフォーテブル。いや、you're because you were worried. You want it to be you. You want our spouse to be you. <laughs> oh, please don't worry. Oh, it's because you want it to be you. Eva looked bashful, and it made my heart jump. Um, does that mean you are worried because you are my childhood friend? Huh? Huh? We're not childhood friends. We're not. What? No, it's. 
Him and Toshi are childhood friends, yeah? So you k i m o c h i m o Mochino a r i m a s a s o r e d a k e o n a k e Is there something that we missed? I feel like there is something that we missed. Because when we did first meet him, he was like, You? So I'm. I'm... Did we know each other beforehand and we just never got told that? And the DLC is just straight up like, Yeah, you guys were childhood friends. Hmm. Interesting. His voice began to trail off and he stopped himself from continuing. He's so cute. でも実際どんな人なんでしょうね将来あなたの夫になる幸せな人は It's Saito I'm sorry to say this to Iba but it's it's freaking Saito もしかしたらもう出会っているかもしれないとさっきの方は言っていましたが I, I don't know I have no idea who it could be 本当ですか新選組の皆さん方は同性の僕から見ても魅力的な人たちばかりですし<笑>あなたが惹かれてもおかしくないと思うんですけど<笑> Oh, I am Oh I mean, I'm only staying here strictly to look for my father's whereabouts For now, I don't have the luxury to think about anything else Iba suddenly stops walking and his brows furrowed apologetically すみません久しぶりにあなたと一緒に外出できたので少し浮かれてしまったみたいですね反省しますさっきの言葉は忘れてください Can I just say I love this art style I love the way that they've done noses I want to draw like that <laughs> Oh it's not like that I understand where you're coming from Iba そろそろ戻りましょうか大使の皆さん方も待っているでしょうし Yes, <laughs> let's do that. As we walked side by side, heading towards the compound, but suddenly Eva spoke up. Dang, you're protective. That's, That's kind of scarily protective. Iba, don't worry. As I just told you, I'm not in any emotional state where I could be thinking about that. I'm just enjoying my time with you and the Shinsengumi men right now. Excuse me? Uh-huh. He totally wants us. Okay. He totally wants us. <laughs> What was he trying to say just now? Does Eva have. He wants us. He wants us. Uh, uh, it's still only. It's still only been like. Two hours and 20 minutes. I feel like we need to do more. <laughs> It's not enough, I say. Not enough. We need to do more. Let's do not all the boys. Uh, should we do all the boys? August 1864. Should we do all the boys or should we just do some? Should we just do the ones that I like? A month had passed since the Ikaida incident, where the Shinsengumi had rescued the city of Kyoto from being engulfed in flames. Hmm, that's odd. Where did Toto run off to? I came out here to tell him that it's almost time for him to apply his ointment. Oh! Toto, there you are! Get! <laughs> Get! Uh huh? What's with the oh crap? I found your ointment, but I couldn't find you to apply it, so I was worried about you. Oh? Oh, 
You know it's going to heal... You know it's... You know it's not going to heal that easily. It hasn't even been half a month. Beat. No, Toto. What are you going to do if it gets infected? Or worse, starts festering. Especially with the humidity recently. Don't underestimate these scars. If you do, then it might become more serious. Now stop resisting me and show me the wound. I'm going to put some... Bleh. I'm going to put something on it to help. No. No, I know you're not as thorough as I am when you rub it. <laughs> this is kind of cute. <laughs> it's like, smack. No, bad. <laughs> we returned to the common room and had Toto unwrap his bandages to show me the wounds. Okay, no signs of any infection. So I'm just going to put some aloe here. I do, but this is the best thing I have at making open wounds close up faster. You know, for doctors, they usually say that the more the ointment, the more bleh, they usually say that the more the ointment stings, the better it's working on your skin. Now, stay put. I dabbed some more of the ointment onto my fingertips from a sea, frick, man, sea shell, where it was being stored to rub it onto Toto. <laughs> Sorry, just bear with me for a second longer. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'm a sucker for those kind of scenes. <laughs> All right, this should be it. Wow, you did great there, Toto. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's just really easy for me to talk to you, Toto. Doesn't feel like you're older. Oh, I know. Here you go. This is for your obedience. <laughs> What is this? Is this candy? We we are straight up treating him like a kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. Back in Edo, whenever one of our child patients had to visit us, we always made sure to give them a candy like this one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Did I? He wanted the candy. He likes being treated like this. Boy! <laughs> Come on! Toto puckered his lips as he pouted, but then he unwrapped the candy and popped it into his mouth. Sorry. It's not like that. What? Oh, okay. Be careful. Oh, and with that, Toto quickly gathered himself and rushed out of the common room. I never meant to treat him like he was a kid, though it seems like I might have bothered Toto, so maybe in the future I should be a little more careful. Too cute. Too cute. Too freaking cute. I wonder if doing all of them would unlock the wind treasure box. Maybe. I don't know the specifics of this man. <laughs> 
Let's... Oh, I'm not on the game. Lee! Uh, let's do Harada, because I also like Harada. August, 1866. Ooh. One evening, I had been walking back to the compounds with Harada after visiting Shim... Shimabara. Harada, was it alright for the two of us to leave before the others? But I know that Harada likes drinking too. He probably would have wanted to stay behind and enjoy his night with his friends. Thank you. As our conversation ended, we realized the only sounds we could hear were our footsteps in the vacant streets, which had emptied after the bustle. Um... Hmm? Let me adjust my seat. There we go. Well, you were talking for a while with one of those geisha back at the table. Table? Table. So, what were you guys talking about? Ah, uh, well, it's not a big is it something you don't want to talk about? Harada usually never felt the need to skirt around subjects with me, which further piqued my curiosity. You were flirting, weren't you? Oh, your preference is a woman, huh? I guess that was a relatively typical question to ask during a session where everyone was drinking. So, what did you tell her, Harada? I had no real ex- uh, I had no real expectation of what he could give as an answer, but I felt a mixture of curiosity and timidly bubbled in me. Because it's us, isn't it? Are you talking from experience, aka right now? Also, I feel that so hard. Don't necessarily have a type, I like a lot of people. What is it? Don't <laughs> so, you want someone who's honest? Uh, interesting. Uh. <laughs> I kind of feel that. <laughs> I see. It made sense. Harada had no qualms with being blunt and letting someone know it. A woman who shared in those values would probably be a great would be a great fit for him. They forgot the fit. Hmm? <laughs> It's Saito. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but it's the quiet type. <laughs> the quiet and stoic type. Though actually, that's not necessarily true. Because in Oron High School Host Club, I actually I think Mori is the one I don't like the most. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like he said, it's hard to have a type when I like multiple things in different situations. <laughs> well, um... Now he was putting me on the spot, and I had no idea how to answer. Excuse me, good sir, but um, could you whisper that in my ear one more time? That was um very sensual. Dot dot dot. I wasn't sure if I could trust Harada with this kind of information about myself, but... I think it'd be someone who's strong, but can't be sensitive enough to understand other people. Well, 
What's funny is that what she said kind of applies to almost all of them. <laughs> you think so? Our conversation stopped again, and the sound of our footsteps echoed in the empty alleys as we passed them quietly. Then Hirata muttered to himself peculiarly, peculiarly, I hate this word, peculiarly, peculiarly, I can do peculiar, not peculiarly, that one's a hard one. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> He's cute. Uh huh? I had absolutely no alternative, uh, ulterior motives as I told him all of that, but now that he brought it up, Harada did seem to match the description of someone I could consider giving my heart to. I I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> He wanted it to be about him. Yeah, he would. <laughs> what? My mind blanked as he seemed disappointed by my attempted play off as at my attempt to play off my embar what? My mind blanked. That whole entire sentence is weird. I am skipping it. He would have been happy. Was he just being nice, or was he messing around with me? Or did he truly mean it? Uh, okay. Harada and I walked shoulder to shoulder back to the compounds, moving with haste. But I couldn't get myself to ask what he had meant by his words, and leaving me to think as we walked. Oh, too cute, too cute. I got confirmation. We're gonna do all of them. We're only like two away anyway. <laughs> Even though I'm... Mm, mm, these two I don't necessarily like care about. Like, yeah, they're cute. Like they have their own things, but they're not necessarily my kind of thing. But we're gonna continue. We're gonna we're gonna do all of them. Why not? As I say a lot, why not? July eighteen sixty five. Like I went grocery shopping yesterday. Yeah, yesterday to get more foods and everything, and I got um uh some chicken thighs and everything to make um green Thai curry or Thai green curry. E either way, I got some stuff to make that and. <laughs> my whole entire thought process was why not why not i'll get this i'll get that why not <laughs> i think that's gonna become like my motto or something or like my phrase why not <laughs> on a sweltering evening in the middle of summer i was sweeping the hallways throughout the compounds as i usually did when oh shit also, my apologies, I swear it, I didn't mean to. Nagakura, is something the matter? Oh, uh, it's, um, what holidays are during the summer? Uh, I can't think of any holidays that are in the summer. Today? Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember Okita talking about that one. Oh, I see. Come to think of it, I think I remember the warriors talking about... Gyone? Gyone? Yeah, Gyone during supper. But they told me I had to finish cleaning this area. Oh, hey! You're right. 
There seems to be a lot more people than usual. You may be right. I think one of the reasons why I don't like、uh, Shinpachi a whole lot is because he's the extreme extrovert and I am an extreme introvert. <laughs> and him literally pulling the like, main character along kind of like not necessarily triggers me, but like makes the introvert inside panic. <laughs> I could picture that pretty easily. As we took our time seeing the sights, I saw girls dressed in elegant floral kimonos, and all of them had their hairs pinned with cute hairpins. Oh. I, on the other hand, was still dressed like a man, and with the girls made contact with me, or. And when the girls made contact with me as we press or passed, I blushed timidly. Hey! There's your texts! Sh uh, Shinpachi is、uh, Shinpachi is very, very cute. He is cute. Yeah, and it is very valid. Like, I, I would love someone to, like, pull me out of my introvertness a little bit. Like, get me to go to things a little bit more. Like, take me out, because. I don't, I'm a shut in basically. <laughs> so having someone to like push me would be nice, but he's he's a little too much of a push. He's too much. He's too much, I say, too much. What's that? Nothing. I can't say anything. If I look upset, then it'll ruin Nagakura's mood, which would only make me feel worse. Oh,、uh, I was just thinking about how fashionable the girls in Kyoto are. そっか江戸とそんなに変わらねえように見えるけどなまあそもそも俺は女物の着物のよしあしなんてわからねえが Yeah Yeah he would As he muttered that Nagakura scratched his head as if something had just come to him 悪い気づかなかったあはせっかくの祭りなんだしどこかで女物の着物でも手配しときゃよかったな。ああ、いいそう、consider it。Yeah, in a fictional sense, he's kind of perfect. Because <laughs> he's like. He's such a himbo. He's such a himbo. さのならきっと言われる前に気を利かせるんだろうが。ああ、シンパッチ、it's okay. It's okay, my dude. そういうことに疎くてよ。本当すまねえ。Okay. Oh no, please don't feel bad. I'm really happy that you even brought me out here. ありがとうな。本当優しいよな。<笑> oh no, I'm not. せっかくの祭りだし、何かうまいものでも食っていこうぜ。何でもおごってやるからよ。<笑> I want a lot of things.、Um, mainly that, um, oh shoot, that fish pastry. It starts with a T. I keep forgetting. I am horrendous at names. Absolutely horrendous at names. Taka, is it Taka something? It's the fish thing. It's the fish thing, and there's like red bean paste inside or like other things inside. I absolutely love it. And it's shaped like a fish. It's my favorite. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such a fake fan whenever I'm like, I like this one thing, but I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> Thank you. Tayaki? It's Tayaki? Thank you. Thank you. It's so good. I had it like one or two times, and it's like, give me more. <laughs> so I, I knew it started with like a TA, but I was like, There's, there's more. I know there's more. Tayaki. Tayaki. I think the reason why I get it so confused is because it also reminds me of uh, uh, Takoyaki, which I think is what I was thinking in my head it was, but I don't not. I, I, I tried Takoyaki and it's. No, thank you. No, thank you. I do not like. I do not like that one bit. <laughs> like, I felt like I put like one of them in my mouth. And like, I could feel the like. Ugh, no, thank you. No, thank you. 
<laughs> but Taiyaki. Taiyaki. And Tamago. Can't forget Tamago. I love Tamago. Sure. What are you gonna get, Nagakura? <laughs> of course, Hugh. A powerful tiger, a powerful tiger for a powerful man. Yeah, there's there's too many like TA words. <laughs> the artisan made a tiger-shaped candy, just as Nagakura had asked him to, but. <laughs> he is baby, he's so baby. He's like, I wanted a powerful tiger, and it's like, bro, it's a small little piece of candy. You're gonna get what you can get. I'm sure he's just overwhelmed. I mean, look at all the people lining up for him. He must have had many customers. Maybe because he doesn't specialize in tigers. <gasps> I got a bunny! Of course I did. Of course I did. I love bunnies. Nagakura looked jealous as he stared at the bunny that the artisan had made for me. Why am I not surprised that Nakakura would get the bu uh, get the tiger and I would get the bunny? I think you're reading into it too much. Besides, your tiger is charming. I actually think it's a little cute. I was expecting him to be like, Cute? What do you mean, cute? <laughs> Nakakura shook his head as he muttered to himself. Just then, the street bustled with activity. Oh. The heck yeah. Sure, let's do that. Heck yeah. Shortly after, the festival float passed by us, and it was so gorgeously decorated with frills that I had almost forgotten everything stressing me out. As Nagakura and I spent the rest of the festival together, it felt as though we were in a dream. Parades are so cute. I, I tried to watch the um, Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, every year. I try, but the fact that it's so freaking early in the morning, I have a hard time doing that. It, it's just hard for me to. So I like watch it afterwards. <laughs> I'm like, I went to watch it. And then there's the dog show afterwards, and I love dogs, so. <laughs> Let's try. This guy. April, 1866. Uh, Yamazaki? Yeah, Yamazaki. Took me a moment. I couldn't remember his name. One afternoon, I had been doing some stitching alone in my room when... Yukimura-kun. I'm going to talk to the doctor about the doctor. Dang, so proper. My apologies. Dang, so proper. Yes, of course. Please come in. Oh, excuse me, I burped. I have root beer off on the side. As Yamazaki entered, he was shocked to see the piles of kimonos, dishcloths, and other assorted scraps of cloth scattered around my room. What? What did you expect? Gotta do something. Well, I was bored of not doing anything in my room, so I asked Toshi if there was anything I could help with, help him with, and this was what I got. The dog show was always a tradition at my house. The parade was background. <laughs> yeah. Same. Big same. Out of character right here, my mom absolutely loves dogs. And it has been a tradition for her to, like, always watch it. <laughs> right. It may take a few days. If you want to. What? But Yamasaki, you have your duties to attend to for the watch. <laughs> okay, then I guess I will take you up on your offer. And that is how Yamasaki started to help me with patchworking. 
but yeah, super sweet. <laughs> Why am I not surprised he hurt himself? <laughs> Are you all right, Yamasaki? Typo issue. That's why you wear thimbles. They help you push in the needle, but also so you don't hurt your fingies. But because of how many times he had poked his finger, Yamazaki's finger was covered in blood. You know what? I think I'll be fine by myself. There are so many other better things you could be prioritizing, Yamazaki. Dang. Is it just me or did what she say kind of sound, um, not condescending, but kind of like, uh, what's the word? <clears throat> when you're like, yeah, no, it's fine. It's better if I do it by myself whenever somebody does something that isn't actually helpful. Like, I don't know, it, it makes the other person feel like, you know, crap. I'm totally not speaking from experience. <laughs> what? No! It was so kind of you even to offer your help at all. Oh, Yamasaki. I couldn't help but burst into laughter since Yamasaki being the serious person he is almost never normally cracked jokes. Yeah. Okay, so I wasn't the only one. Heck yeah. You think so? It's not something I notice about myself. I like to work on crafts with my hands, and the more intricate, the better. That's a little sexist. Uh huh? I kind of don't like this DLC. I, I don't like this part of the DLC whatsoever. <laughs> Yamasaki's statement made me stop. No, it's not like that. It's just that I've never heard you say something like that, so I was thrown off a little. That face is kind of cute, though. I'll let you get away with it. I'll get- I'll let you get away with saying something like that with that cute little face of yours. Oh- oh no, I- I should apologize. I was suddenly overcome with embarrassment for having said anything, and then neither of us could bear to meet the other with our eyes. Um... Yamazaki? No, no, no. You were saying earlier that you wanted to talk about some of our warrior's health conditions? So, so that. Oh, that one time when we accidentally got a point for him. なるほど。よくわかった。改善点に関しては局長や副長と相談の上対応することにしよう。いや、his <laughs> Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. Sure, no problem at all. Sayonara. Yamasaki spoke curtly, standing at the entrance of my door before briskly, briskly walking off. I am relying on you. Huh. He could have been saying that just to be nice to me, but the fact he felt the need to give me such a compliment warmed my heart dearly. That was a compliment? I didn't take that as a compliment. I didn't take that as anything, honestly. <laughs> I think out of all of those, I think that was the one I disliked the most. Hey, so we do get something if we do all of them. Let's go. So we do get this one. I wonder what we get. What do we get? What do we... <gasps> That's what we get. Mouse wheel, scroll down, zoom, zoom. Mouse wheel. Oh. Oh. 
Uh. Nope, other way. Look at this boy. Actually, look at both of these boys. Look at them. So that's what we get with the DLC. Yummy. I love it. I love their cute little blushes. Though it's kind of weird that, like... Eva, Harada, and Shinpachi aren't blessing, blushing while the others are. And look at... Not him. I don't care about him. Hoda's little blush right there. He's like... I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like... Hold on. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like you at all. You don't treat me like a child. Oh, you got me candy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then Saito. He's so cute. He's so handsome and cute. And I can't zoom in anymore. I can't zoom in to look at his pretty, pretty face anymore. That's such pretty art, too. The rim lighting. And like the blush look away. <sighs> yeah, Toto had a, a brat blush. <laughs> oh. I wonder what name is. Oh. Oh, I guess. Oh. I guess we could change our name if we wanted to. And that seems to be it. Of Hakuoki Kyoto wins. Oh man. Oh, what we got for music? Oh, we're missing two. Oh no, three. We're missing three. Huh. And then for movie. Yes. Saito. And that's it. All the rest must be for the, um, other guys. Dang. Look at that one. Ugh. Ugh. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I want to know what that no image one is. I want to know. I will find it off, off stream. I will find that final image. I will. And I will make it. My freaking wallpaper. I will. Though I don't think I want to make this one. I don't think I want to make, um, this one, the wallpaper, though. I, I kind of don't want to. That's a little too sad for me. It's, it's kind of a lot sad for me. This one, though. No, other way. Uh, how do I... No, how do I go to the other one? Oh. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Look at that smile. Look at that smile! Look at him! He's so cute! He's so cute! Look at him! Ah. I love him. I love him to bits. And like, also look at those flowers. They're so freaking pretty. So freaking pretty. Mmm. Delicious. There's actually, um... I kind of got inspired earlier today, and I kind of made a Twitter post. <laughs> I, I made a little poem. Because, <laughs> um, a lot of flowers have been blooming around lately. And, like, at first, I wanted to, um, uh, look up a poem to put on the Twitter, but then I kind of got inspired to make my own, so I did. And I tried my hardest, because I, I tried to translate it into, um, Chinese as best I could. I don't think I did that well, though, so... But I found another one, um, that is called, uh... Uh... A Flower is No Flower, or something like that. Uh... And I think I want to say it to you guys. I hope my- I hope my pronunciation is right. I don't think it will be, <laughs> but I'll try to say this. Uh... Hua fei hua, wu fei wu. Yiban Lai Tang Ming Chi Lai Ru Chi Meng Bu Du Shi Chi Shu Chao Yong Wu Ming Chu. I most likely butchered that. I most likely did. I know I got some of the tones a little bit wrong because I was more paying attention to how to pronounce it. 
<laughs> but I thought that one was absolutely, absolutely fitting. It's adorable. It's, it's basically like, it's romance related, <laughs> but also flower related. It's cute. You, you guys can look it up. It's, it's easy to find. It's easy to find. <laughs> so that was my try at poem stuff. I could have said it a little bit better, but it's fine. It's fine. Ah, so that is all for these sweet, lovely boys for Hako Kihiro wins. So next week we will be starting uh, Edo Blossoms, Hakoki Edo Blossoms and see what continues on with us going to Edo, going on a ship to Edo. Ah, that kind of makes me want to watch the anime now, up until the point where they get to Edo, because I want to see how the anime went about it, because obviously, you know, romance and everything, even with uh, Kamigami no Asobi, they had to go with like a specific route, because you know, you can't just make it about one boy, because not everybody likes that one boy, so... I'm kind of curious how the anime went about it. As I went straight for Saito. <laughs> ah. Dang. I'm kind of happy that we, um... I think we got full. Where is it? No, it's not that. Oh. Uh, I have no idea where to find it, but I think we got, like, full bloomed 100% with Saito, so... Hopefully that transfers over to Edo Blossoms. I don't know if it does. Because I know with uh, Dragon Age, they do have uh, a thing where if you play on the same system, uh, it continues on the choices that you made in the game before to continue on into the next game. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I hope it does. And if not, then we'll just continue to go for Saito. <laughs> Ah, uh, so. So next week, we'll be working on Edo Blossoms, and tomorrow, which is sooner than next week, tomorrow we are going to be doing uh, Ghostwire Tokyo at 3 p.m. Or, uh, where's my, where's my time thingy? I have a time thingy to tell me what times they are. Uh, 3 p.m. EST or 4 a.m. JST on Monday or uh 12 p.m pst fingers crossed yeah fingers crossed on it transferring over but yep we are going to do ghostwire tokyo tomorrow i have done seven hours of uh grinding off stream and can't wait yeah i can't wait and ugh. for those seven hours i want to turn it into a video for you guys because there were some moments i took on like three four parades and I went from like level 19 to level 30 in those seven hours. So I'm, I'm, I'm not OP now, but I'm definitely up there. Uh, I also accidentally did um, a little bit of the main quest. I didn't mean to. It was an area effect kind of thing. So we are not going to start off at a Tory gate, but we are going to... Oh, nope, nope. No, I like you, but no. But, um, we are going to start off with whatever the MSQ is, because it's not a tour gate. I thought it would be, and it was not. So, we'll be doing that. Uh, I've unlocked... Well, not unlocked, but uh, collected almost a good chunk of the things that need to be collected, so I don't have to waste your guys' time uh, working on, like, collecting those and side quest stuff. So we can work on specifically MSQ once again. And since... Easter is not tomorrow, we won't have to cut it short, so we'll try to go probably depending on how it goes, since tomorrow will be the fourth one of that series, I think we could try to go for chapter four or chapter five. We'll see. Because in the other other streams, I was distracted very much so. Uh, and worked on side quests a handful of times, but if we just specifically work on MSQ and not get disturbed, obviously, uh, I think we'll be able to get past Chapter 4 and get into Chapter 5, or at least stop at Chapter 5 for that. So, we'll see. It's all a... we'll see. <laughs> 
So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this Saito love train of Hakuoki Kyoto wins. Uh, once again, let me know if you guys want to see the other boys in the story, because obviously we haven't unlocked all of their pictures. So let me know if you guys would like to see that as a video or something or as a possible other stream though i think a video would be better because then i could just cut out the bits that we've already seen and just pay attention to the bits you know that are them <laughs> so just let me know if you guys would like that or not if not then i'll just continue on with my life it's fine no <laughs> but yeah and i think that is all i can't think of anything else right off the bat yeah, no, I can't think of anything else. So I will see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow for, uh, I was about to say Hakuoka Kyoto wins because it's right in front of me. But, um, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for Ghostwire Tokyo. And we will be working on MSQ and trying to go for as much as we possibly can. And hopefully I don't overpower a lot of visitors. <laughs> but, yes, I love you all. Bye-bye.